Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about these are the games that your ex will play if they want you back in their life. These are the things that they will do if they want you back. Um, so these are the signs that you basically want to look out for if you're hoping that an ex is going to come back, right? But first of all, just a bit of a disclaimer, um, you know, you want to make sure that you're, you want to make sure that this is someone you actually want to get back with as well. Um, so what I usually tell people and what I've seen as well is that, you know, you've got to think back to the, the last couple of months of your relationship, right? Because when people break up with each other, they tend to look back on the first stages when things were really good um, and they fail to look back on the times when things were really bad. And sometimes what most people find and what I've seen is that when they look back on the, first, on the, on the last months that they were with their partner before the breakup happened, they were having a lot of doubts too. It doesn't matter if they were the one that broke up with them or they were the one that got dumped, right? They, they have regrets. They have things like, oh yeah, they, have, they think back on those times and they think, yeah, I was kind of hoping the relationship was going to end too. There was a lot of arguments going on. There was a lot of tears. There was a lot of toxic behavior going on. Um, and they were deeply unhappy and they were thinking about breaking things off as well. And there may have even been a little bit of relief when things actually ended as well. And then it was, you know, like a few hours afterwards or a few days afterwards, that's when they started to re feel that regret that the breakup happened and they want to get their ex back. But they're, but it's because they're looking back on it with rose colored glasses, they're thinking about the good times and they're not remembering those feelings, those mutual feelings that they wanted, to, they kind of wanted it to end too. So that's where you've got to, that's where you've got to realize, that's where you've got to think about. So, um, before I get into these points, right? So the first thing that I want to talk about is if your ex wants you back, one of the things that they will do is they will message you or call you up and want to talk about things that uh, are unimportant. They will talk to you about things that aren't, um, that, that are kind of seen a bit innocuous, that are not really that important. So they may ask you up and ask you about, oh, um, do you remember where we bought that? spade from in that garden center you know do you remember the name of the garden center or the outlet that where we got that thing from or or do you remember when we went to this place do you have the postcode you know things like that they'll be asking like things that are just not that important and basically what they're doing is they're testing the waters to see if um to see how you respond basically to see if oh um are they going to message me back are they going to ghost me um, but what they don't want to do, they don't want to be, they don't want to put their heart on the line by saying, hey, I miss you, I'd really like to reconnect. They don't, they're, they're not saying that, right? That's what they want to say, but they're not saying it, basically. So basically, they come up with some kind of excuse to talk to you by bringing up something that isn't, that isn't important. It could be something like, oh, do you have the notes from, if you're a student watching this, oh, do you have the notes from from last month's lecture or something like that. It's something that they could easily get off their teacher. It's something they could easily get off another student. But no, they're getting it off of you because they're using it as an excuse to talk to you. You know, it's like something, oh, do you remember where we went to that place? You know, they could easily look that up on Google. They could easily do a little bit of inspection if they want, really wanted to know that piece of information. So if, it's, if you can tell that it's easily information they could have found out themselves without that much effort, but instead they contacted you about it then it's clear that the reason why they're talking to you is because they are hoping that maybe things will work out now of course that may not be all of the time that may not be a hundred percent of cases when when exes do that but it is a lot of the cases right so you don't want to assume basically too much about it you don't want to read too much into that kind of thing but it is a big sign basically that um, they want you back and this is something that they will do if they want you back but they don't want to put their heart out on the line and say directly hey I miss you I want to get back with you they will do something similar to what I've said they will do something they will message you or call you up and ask you about something unimportant or talk to you about something unimportant and I think they do is they they may just you know say hey how are you it may not they may not even say something unimportant they may actually just be inquiring about how you've been what you've been doing things like that as well. So again, if they're direct, if they're messaging you directly, if they're calling you up, then it's a big sign that they could be interested in getting back together with you. 
Um, but again, you don't want to read into other things too much, like um, if they comment a lot on your stuff or if they like your posts or retweet you, you don't want to read too much into that. Although that is something that could potentially mean that they still want to get back with you, but it's not as a bigger sign basically as them reaching out to you directly, privately. Um, them commenting on something saying, hey, how you been? is not as much of a big sign as them actually messaging you privately to do so. Um, that's more of a, a sign and more of a something that they will do if they want you back. Uh, so another game that your ex will play if they want you back is they will show up to places that you that they know you'll be at. So let's say you work in a shop, they may just randomly appear in that shop um, and maybe try and strike up a conversation with you. They may, if they're not brave enough, they may just be hanging about. But they'll be they'll be doing it in such a way that that you can see them basically. You know, um, they will um, try and put them, themselves in your vision so you they so that you can see them. So that's another thing that they will do: showing up in places where they know that you will be. Um, another thing that they may do um, if they want you back. Another game they may play is they will have odd social media habits, um, you know, it, like maybe even something like in the, in the middle of the night when they could be overly emotional, when they could be intoxicated. So it could be something like you may wake up to a load of notifications and they've just liked loads of your photos or something, or they could have commented on a lot of things, um, or they may have messaged you or something like that. Um, so that's something else that will is kind of like something that they will do if they still want you back, if they still miss you and they, they want you in their life in some way, you'll start to notice these odd social media habits. But what I will say with that though is try not to read too much into those things because it could be them breadcrumbing you, it could be them baiting you into doing something, into messaging them to see if you, you're still into them. So don't ever act on any of these things. So if you've seen that they've liked a string of your photos, you know, don't um, assume, oh yeah, I can contact them. Don't assume that. The best thing to do when it comes to no contact is you wait for them to directly message you or to directly call you up. That's when you know you can um, break no contact and things like that. Not really before that, okay? Um, it has to be that. So don't take any of this too seriously. Um, just know it could be something, it could be a sign that they want you back, but it's also... Um, it's also you don't you don't know for sure it could be like their friend perhaps their friend played a prank on them and liked a load of your photos and or something like that and they're you know just messing about basically you don't you don't know okay so then the next game that they will play and the last thing that I want to discuss is getting um, their friends to spy on you so they may get your their friend to inquire about you um, they may, one of their friends may message you, but again, you don't want to take these things too seriously, but what they'll do is they'll get their friends to do things like maybe their friend will suddenly start following you on Instagram and they suddenly start watching all of your stories or something like that. And it could be their friend relaying that information back to your ex, or it could be your ex using their social media account, their friend's social media account to spy on you. And that could be a sign that they want you back but again it's something that you don't want to take too seriously it's not something that you want to think oh great their friend is watching my stories that means I can message them no again it has to be them directing you mess uh, direct uh, messaging you directly and it has to be them it can't be their friend messaging you it has to be them that's one of the biggest signs that your ex wants you back if they message you directly so if their friends are doing it if their friends are spying on you looking at your stories you know, uh, commenting on your stuff or liking your things, you know, yeah, it could be them, it could be, it could be um, their, you, the, their friends spying on you, or it could be their, your ex using their account to spy on you. But again, it's not something that you want to take too seriously. It's not something that you feel like, oh, yay, they're, maybe this means they still love me, and you reach out to them. You don't want to do that. You want to hold your cards close to your chest and wait for them to actually you know, message you and contact you. But again, you know, it's something like, you know, you don't want to be waiting for these things to happen. So even though I'm giving I'm giving these signs to you, I don't want you to be waiting by your phone and over analyzing absolutely everything. If you if you have an ex, you should be trying to move on from them because there's no way of knowing really that they're coming back into your life um, unless they show one of these signs or well I would say the most big one is them messaging you and calling you up. But it could be, you know, 
um, that there's a few of these signs that they do could they could be doing all of these things but the point is is that you shouldn't be waiting around for these things to happen and you shouldn't be over analyzing them you need to be moving on healing from the relationship because again you know if you haven't got any of these signs and you don't know if they're coming back then you need to be trying to move on and again remember what i said at the beginning of this video and think about you know do i actually even want this person back was that relationship even good you know you have to be asking that you have to be sensible about it and try not to because you don't want to be going back to a bad thing essentially or a toxic situation or um, you know with someone that it just wasn't working out because you two were incompatible so that's my advice on that. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.